In this era of privacy concerns, I've got something that might not be on your radar, but I just can't believe more people aren't talking about it, and it's the Google Vault. Today, I'm gonna take you inside the vault. It's gonna be exciting. I'm August Bryce, and like millions of small businesses, our ad agency uses Google email, and it works really well. Gmail's fast, and it leverages what Google is really famous for, search. So our IT guy upgraded us to Google Vault a few months ago so that we could archive old emails indefinitely, and that really comes in handy, especially with that search functionality. But Google Vault doesn't just save emails and chats and more. I discovered recently, accidentally, that it saves just about everything you type on your keyboard, including drafts. Now sure, you might have noticed that when you're in compose mode that your drafts are being saved, but didn't you think that that was just for you, like personal? Well, no. Those typos, that nasty comment that before you press send, you thought better of? All of it is there, forever, for as long as your employer agrees to keep paying for Google Vault anyway. That's right, when Vault is turned on, virtually everything you type, every iteration is saved, even if you didn't send it out that way. But it's just a draft, right? Just my thoughts. Well, stop for a second and think about the worst thing you've ever written in an email, but then you listen to your mom's voice in your head and you decided to change it all up or not send it at all. Well, those thoughts have been saved. Scary, right? So switching hats into employer mode. This is my employee, Shay, who's offered to help us see what the vault actually looks like as she types an email. So into the vault we go. Shay's composing her letter and here's backstage of the vault. This is what an employer would see. This is the person who is the vault administrator's page. So I'm gonna type in Shay's name and then I press search. Okay, here it is. These are all of the iterations of one email that she's been writing. In the last, what do you say, Shay? Five minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the last five minutes. Here's what Shay's composing. Experiment for the vault. Okay, I'm gonna open one of them. You can see all those different drafts. Mm -hmm. You can see every iteration, but they're all there in full draft form to be seen. Okay, so now we see how all the drafts look. Now what happens when you press send? Because you think, well, that's just drafts, right? And do they disappear when I press send? Well, actually they don't. In fact, a savvy tech person in our office, Taylor, pointed out that when he sends an email or discards a draft, the draft instantly disappears from his draft folder. But all the iterations of that draft stay in the vault. Let's go back into our experiment with Shay, and I want to go back to the very first version where it wasn't even named yet, it was just no subject. It starts out with, well, I was driving out today, I got a flat tire, my A membership expired, I don't know how I'm gonna to get to work while I was driving to work today. Oh, here it changes. It's changing completely. Wow, I'm inside Shay's head. Dear boss, it turns out today that I'm actually really sick. It, I think it might be the flu. Okay, so that went from flat tire to flu. That's how it looks. And I think it, it's disturbing to see all those versions and so unnecessary. I did speak to Google and they said that as an employer, as the fault administrator, I can choose not to look at drafts. And that's true, that's great, that's an option. But they also advised me that if I wanted to see a change, that I could write in that recommendation, which I'm going to. I don't know, it just feels so personal. How does it make you feel, Shay? I'm not good as someone that likes to get a little bit heated and again. a little exposed. So who loves Google Vault? Well, employers. It's a lot like a lot of archival systems out there, but it's also close to a keystroke logger. Who else loves it? Well, lawyers. Everything in the vault is discoverable, meaning it can be subpoenaed in a lawsuit or a criminal investigation. So if your email has Google Vault, there's a couple of ways to limit what's being recorded, good thing. Also, I spoke to a Google rep, and they confirmed that this is how all of Gmail works. Even when you go into settings and high drafts, notice as you compose, you'll still see that saved icon. Now, I don't know where those drafts go, but I've got a couple of workarounds, and I'm sharing them on the Safer Tech blog, so be sure to have a look, because, it's your privacy after all.